everyone. Welcome back. Um, Claire and I are happy to introduce you today to the beautiful Jasmine Safi, who is, an, is the author of the Rainbow Oracle, these beautiful oracle cards that she created, designed, did all by herself, that I've been lucky enough to um, receive from her after I gave her a reading. She was one of the first ones to come and have a reading with us after the Mark Atwood interview that we did. She was called to um, contact us, which we're very grateful for because she's a, a beautiful soul, just one of the many that we're meeting, aren't we, Claire? And yeah, um, Jasmine has since done an interview with Mark man. Atwood herself. Sorry, we just talked over the top of each other. But yeah, you've just recently done an interview with Mark yourself, Jasmine, and how did that go? Yeah, it went really well, yes. And, um, well, thanks for having me, yes. It's been um, a wonderful experience just being on the show and um, getting the, the response I did was amazing. And now here I am with you, beautiful ladies. It's wonderful. Yeah, it continues on. You've started something. <laughs> well, I have yeah. to show you that I, I shuffled my deck before yeah. we um, started this and, and started this interview today, and I got these two, Jasmine. And the very first time I shuffled the deck and pulled one out, I got this Atlantean. I get him every time. Really? What's wow. going on? Yeah. Well, the Atlantean soul, card. you know, is actually, well, a lot of the Atlanteans are here to, um, for the disclosure because they've spent many lifetimes working on their own um, stuff, yeah, working um, on their own, finding their own truth. But, you know, in order to find truth, you have to repair it first and all the damage and all the brainwashing and all the programming. And we've done that through lifetimes. And um, so the Atlantean is here um, to deliver truth because I spent many lifetimes searching for it and repairing it because they were part of the uh, fall of Atlantis. Yes. Uh, this is the Lemurians um, are here as well. They're bringing in the oneness. Well, I've done some past life Masculine regression. Yeah. yeah, and in those past life regressions, I was in Atlantis and I was also in Lemuria. So. Oh, wow. Well, yeah. I, A lot of, you know, many of us were both. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I believe so. So. Yeah. yeah. So we did a reading and we found out a few really interesting things um, with you that you, well, you already knew this, that you were connected to a council of 12 and also the Rainbow Council that mm. helped you to channel and create these beautiful cards that you've created. And we thought we might have a bit of fun and do a quick reading with our council of Zen A mm -hmm. because we also discovered that you were a Zen A being in your reading which, um, you know, now that I've done so many, I know that that usually means that you're a member of our ship, the Enterprise too, but we didn't actually find that out, did we, <laughs> when we did your reading? So I thought... Well, I, have a feeling, I have a feeling she will be. Yes, me too. So let's do maybe a little bit more of a reading for Jasmine live um, and see if we can find out more about the role you play on our ship from the Council of Zene. And then um, Jasmine has kindly offered to do a bit of a reading for us with her beautiful cards. And she might give Claire a reading today um, as part of this video. So lucky viewers, this is gonna be fun. Lucky me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, so I'll start by connecting with our council and finding out a bit more about you on the ship, Jasmine. So I'm asking to please speak to the Council of Zen, eh? In the highest service to the one true living God of all love, light, creation and compassion, his Holy Son, Jesus Christ, and the divine Holy Spirit. Am I connecting with the Council of Zen A, please? Okay. All right, so 
we would love it if you could give Jasmine a bit more information about her connection to the enterprise because we didn't really establish whether she was connected to the enterprise. We, we knew that she's a Zen A being and that she'd also lived on Lyra, which many of us have that are from our ship. So are you able to tell her a bit more about her connection to the enterprise ship? Yes. We love you, Jasmine. And you are a very special part of the crew of the Enterprise spaceship. We want you to know that your role on the ship is a very important role that is looking after the children who have been rescued from the tunnels and you are a beautiful being from Zene who is very compassionate and understanding of the struggles these souls have been through in the environment they are forced to endure underground. So you and the team of rehabilitators on the ship are working with the children to help them to be rehabilitated and to heal and to be okay again and to feel loved and accepted for who they are as individual beings on their own in the world. You also help to rehome these children to other planets and galaxies and systems in the multiverse and you travel everywhere throughout the galaxies to find the right homes for these beautiful beings who have never experienced love and happiness and joy before in their lives. So you make an incredible difference to their lives from the moment they meet you and you help them to assimilate to another way of being that is so much better mm -hmm. and more loving and accepting of them no matter what 
they look like or where they are from. They are loved and accepted by all in the places you find to rehome them across the galaxies and universes of the multiverse. Okay, well, that's beautiful, Jasmine. You do some good work up there. <laughs> And you're a part of a very big team that does all that work, um, healing, rehoming, rehabilitating, caring for the children. It's a really beautiful thing to have done. Meeting a lot of people that in their sessions that are involved in this work. It's 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 uh, then I've had I've met at least four or five people. This team is is extensive, and uh, yeah, it's a big yeah. job. Yeah. Uh, Wow. Yeah. Um, we, did, we did say a little bit about that, I think, that you were involved with children. Or yeah, the council yeah. was. I think the council was involved in children and the rehabilitation of them. That's how it came up in your reading. Right. So yeah. have you got a question or anything to do with that? Um, well, the only sort of work I've done with children, I suppose, is the inner child. Uh, yeah. yeah, I've been doing that for a long, long time. Mm. Um, not only healing my own, but, you know, healing others. Mm. Uh, you know what would so be that's great? Significant. That's significant. What would be great to ask, sorry, would be about your belly dancing and where that comes from. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure it comes from the harem, my, my days in the harem. <laughs> well, they, want, they want to tell you, they're saying yes. She was <laughs> a belly dancer in Egypt once and she loved dancing for the pharaohs and for other important people. She has done this in this lifetime too, dancing for important people mm. in her earlier years of being a belly dancer. I remember you saying that in your interview with Mark. Yeah. Wow. yeah. Oh, you've yeah. done it in Egypt too. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> It was in your DNA. It was in your blood. <laughs> well, oh, I wonder what the inner, the inner child work has, um, the, what that relation is. I'd like to know what that um, relation is to the work that she does on the ship. Would, would that be okay yeah. to ask that, Jasmine? Yeah. Does it seem significant? Mm. Are we able to understand a bit more about the connection between Jasmine doing so much inner child work in this lifetime and the fact that she works with the children on the ship. Yes. She is very connected to her inner child because she remembers the children she rescues on the ship and she remembers the harm they were going through when they first came onto the ship. She is very affected by the children she has helped mm -hmm. so many times. So she needs to do a lot of inner child work right. herself to help this situation. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. And to heal herself 
from the trauma of seeing so many children affected by the evil ones. Mm. Okay. She yeah. has rescued many of them too. So she's seen the evil that has been underground on many planets mm -hmm. in many solar systems and many galaxies too. She needs to do the quantum breathing to help transform those programs. Yeah, which we can help her with. Yes, you, yeah, we can help you with that. All right. Well, I'm going to say thank you and goodbye to the council now. Thank you very much for your help thank tonight. You. It's yes. lovely to connect with you. Yeah. Yes. Thank you, Council of Zenay. <laughs> you are welcome. <laughs> and Jasmine, we love you. We love your cards and we love your artwork too. You are so talented and clever. You deserve to do very well with your cards. And we are happy to help you understand where you came from and how you came to be so talented in this way. Here you go. Well, now that brings up more questions, doesn't it? <laughs> we'll have to leave those for private, okay? <laughs> so thank you. Bye for now. Bye. Never ending. Yeah, it's never ending. Opens a can. <laughs> but, so yeah. hard to keep sessions, you know, into an hour. The, the, even the shorter, the quantum transformation healings we do is like, oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, always painful to do. Yeah, some people we could go on and on, couldn't we, Claire? There's so much to work on yeah. with them and help them with, and we just we don't want to stop. And then when there's someone be coming up behind them with another appointment, it's hard we have to cut it short yeah it happens all the time in my readings too yeah yeah so, so the more you reveal the more the deeper you go the more the yes, <laughs> right. oh, you've got 15 minutes oh mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. so tell us tell us about your beautiful cards jasmine and we believe yeah you well um, you should, should you show the video well. first and then we'll have a chat yeah, yeah um, that'd be great Oh, oh, look at her beautiful face. <clears throat>
gosh, that's, that's powerful. So good, that yeah. music is just magnificent as well. Yeah, so I, um, are you on mute? Oh, no. Sorry? No, it's okay. We can hear you. That's all right. Sorry, Jasmine. Um, yes, yeah, so I, I first published them in uh 2014 yeah um and it took me about a year to create them and they were a bit of a bit ahead of their time to be mm. honest mm. and um it only sort of started to make sense when all this sort of happened the um pandemic so to speak um but yeah before that they were i i published them myself and um then they uh, a, a publisher approached me and then I thought it sounded like a good idea at the time but they sat on the publisher's desk for two years and then um, when he went to publish them the pandemic broke out but I was already getting new visions and um, new energy coming in for the cards and I knew I had to change them so I broke the deal with the publisher and I thought, when he offered me many things, you know, we'll do a calendar and we'll do a journal and we'll do some affirmation cards. And I was like, and I said, no. Oh, wow. <laughs> <I'm> an idiot. <laughs> I just thought, no, I have to do this. And um, you can always go back to that. Like you can always yeah. add all those things. And I'm sure someone would want to pick you up and print them all. You know, <laughs> at the drop of that now. Yeah. They're fantastic. Maybe, who knows? Mm. But um, yeah, I had to do it, and I knew I had to do it myself in the end. And um, so, yes, here we are, and um, they were published again in uh, probably, what was it about March or May this year? Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, it was a long haul because we we're going through the pandemic to just. Um, I just kept pushing through and pushing through. It was just really hard. Everything was sort of going wrong and, you know, lost heaps of money with printers and being ripped off left, right and centre, all sorts of things. Um, but anyway, they're here. Yeah, you can <laughs> tell you've done them. them. You can tell you've done them yourself too because look at the quality. I mean, look at the gold. Wow. They're just they're beautifully done. Oh, and look at, look at him. <laughs> all these beautiful men yeah. in them. They're all they're all pretty hot and um, yeah. really <laughs> beautiful too. <laughs> wow, he's, uh, he's quite something. That's often I think your man is in there, Claire. <laughs> oh yes. Well, funny enough, my man was in there. Really? Um, yes. After um, when I was creating the creative engineer, and um, when I would create the cards, the the energy would come in, and then it would. Um, and it was the five energy that would five D energy that would come in, and show me sort of would sort of play out in my life as if to show me how it was integrating that that aspect of me. It was really bizarre, but that's sort of what happened. And um, when I got to the creative engineer, I just had this knowing that this that I'm going to meet uh, the representation of the creative engineer. This is the one for me. And um, I thought we would be a good match. And um, yeah, as soon as I finished the card, um, the cards all together, yeah, probably within three months of finishing the cards, he showed up oh. and he was a builder, architect, architect, um, the creative engineer. Yeah, that was, he doesn't look like that. But... <laughs> like, Why don't you look like this? <laughs> <laughs> She's beautiful too. Look at her. Oh. Oh, she's divine. How many cards are there, Jasmine? Oh, uh, the 62. Yeah. 62. It's a lot of work. Is that yeah. a significant number or is, is that? Not really. I could have kept going, but I just thought wow. I'd better stop. <laughs> oh. It's a perfect number. Yeah. It's a great deck. So all the um, archetypes in the deck, that's one of them, the muse, they, yeah. um, they have a little sort of, a in the corner there so you know the difference when you're dealing with an archetype or when if you're just dealing with a support card um the support cards so you know like this one that is a support card from archetype mm. oh, gosh they're beautiful i love this yeah, one this, so this is us girls ancient soul ancient soul. <laughs> you look good with the beard, georgie yeah <laughs> 
represents <laughs> us. <laughs> yeah. They really are stunning. Yeah. And, um, and how, how, does, how does one uh, use them, Jasmine? Uh, yes, yeah, so um, it's kind of, it's really sort of two decks in one. So you can use a complete deck like you would any oracle, shuffle them and, and pull a card a day or pull three or however many you want. You just got to allow the cards to sort of speak to you, really. Yeah. Um, you can use them for healing if you want to work on those different aspects of yourself um, that need unifying. Um, for example, well, the um, I think it's the creative, creative engineer actually. Um, I didn't I didn't re resonate with him at all when I was creating it, and the reason why was I had not you know he's kind of the problem solver I suppose, and the best way I can describe it is because they get into the nitty gritty of everything you know they make good good mechanics, mm -hmm. for example. Um, but you know, like flat packs, I have <laughs> flat packs, right? You know, I, I don't read the instruction, I don't care <laughs> why it works, how it works, as long as it works. Um, yeah, yes. so, yeah, that's me. Um, so I, I had so I struggled with that one, but and the way it played out in my life, I was delivered a flat pack. <laughs> 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 and um, it, I got through brilliantly when I when I realised that I had to sort of um, there was a marriage between functionality and intuition, you know, and it has to work together. And not everything's just um, because I'm I'm very much sort of um, do everything intuitively, and I never have a plan, and um, so all these things I had to sort of integrate that part into myself. Um, so that's that's sort of one example. Um, you know, a good example too of um, what most people struggle with too is um, the um, creative soul. Now everyone says, well, I'm not creative. And, you know, well, did you ever build a cubby house? Did you ever imagine when you were a kid? Um, we're all creative, all of us. But we either sort of, sort of go in that direction or we don't yeah. so um we might not be all, all be scholars um but you know we, creativity is more than just about um designing something or creating something um it's about sort of i guess imagining and bringing it into being we're mm -hmm. looking outside the box using our creative thought Mm -hmm. um, this yeah. is all part of um, the creative soul because, you know, if I pull that card sometimes with someone who's, say, an accountant and they get, you know, the creative soul. Yeah. <laughs> like a, oh, no, I'm not creative. <laughs> 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 and, you know, it's like, well, maybe you need to get in touch with that mm -hmm. because creativity is, is exploring your imagination, is it's exploring um, the childlike self, which is was always creative. The oh, child. Yeah, it's natural. Mm. Yeah. So it's not saying to get to the accountant, oh, you need to you need to go and you know enroll in painting classes or anything. It's like maybe he needs to start thinking more creatively in the way he's working in yeah. his business or there's a hundred yeah. million one ways to do something. Maybe the way yeah. he's in bed, even, you know, perhaps. Yeah. Yeah. So um well should we do a little reading on Claire? Yeah. Yeah. Let's have a play with the cards. Give a test drive. And this one, yes, Unearthly Earth. That one, again, it's a support card. That that came through in 2021. That's beautiful. That is just so beautifully. Gosh. Yeah. How do you paint like that? So uh, have you got all the original versions to like paintings? Um, they're not paintings because it's digital art. Okay. Oh, right. Yeah. So you've got a graphic design oh, background ones. and you've done them. Okay. So yeah. the originals are on your computer or. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So um, Claire. But clearly you can paint. You have, um, is there anything you want to look at? Is there any questions or. Uh, um, would that be helpful for you? Well, in, in other words, do you want to um, look at what your 5D self wants to bring in or um, 
what part of your 5D self needs um, expressing or yes, I think what's, that would be very helpful. what's out of alignment, what's in alignment. Yeah, so I feel like I'm... that really. <laughs> yeah, no, that's terrific. I, I, I do feel like I'm out of alignment in, uh, in, a, in the way I'm expressing myself. I feel like uh, there's a part of me that isn't expressing myself the way I'd like to. Um, and that would that'd be interesting to know what, what comes up in that. Yes, definitely. Mm. Okay. Excited. Did I get your uh, your type? Claire, what's your full name, Claire? Claire Eliza Woodley. Claire what, sorry? Eliza Woodley. Okay. I gave you my middle name too. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? Everyone out there knows now, Claire. <laughs> yeah. My mum loves that. You're not going to believe what you've got as well. Mm. Oh, I, I do. Yeah. Hello. <laughs> yeah, Atlantean. In service to humanity. Okay. And it's also the healer as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it brings in the healing technology. Often it um, brings in advanced healing technologies as well um, mm -hmm. and trying new ways in different ways. Yeah. Right. So that, um, what we we'll do now is, is 45. I have to pull a few cards, so. Okay. I haven't had a reading in so long. Yeah, I haven't either. <clears throat> mm. Ooh. <laughs> Are you going through more shifts? Yeah. Yes, I am physically at the moment. Something's really, uh, I've got a lot body. of coming out of my body, like a lot. Body talk. Mm. Yeah, I feel like it's I'm... It's affecting the physical body? Very much so, yeah. very much so. I almost feel like I'm, uh, like a hot steam is coming out the back of my back. Um, I can't almost cope with it, actually, yeah. Wow. Not sure what it means, but maybe you're upgrading. Perhaps. Yeah. But I but I also get um sometimes it's it's saying that you've got to do something differently. Mm. Sometimes we can um for example, we can walk the, the same path, but sometimes we need to walk the same path differently. It doesn't always mean we've got to choose a different path, mm -hmm. but we've got to walk it differently because, and it might be something to do with something that's not in alignment in your in your physical body because you need to do it differently, if that makes sense. Yeah, it does. Yeah, definitely. But you've got this one too, divergence. Right. That's and um, it, it, yeah, it's, it says change your direction or find a new way to travel along familiar paths. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Gosh, change my direction again. <laughs> <laughs> it's all a part of the transformation. Mm. Oh, she's pretty. Mm. And... Um, because again, the transformation is the end of old ways, beliefs or situations occur so you can flow, align, expand into greater awareness. Okay. I just wish I knew exactly what I've got to do. <laughs> well, <laughs> way changer. That's beautiful. What, what does that mean? What does she mean? You're a liberating force here to inspire, change, and challenge the system. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, she's been challenging the system. <laughs> <laughs> I sure have. Total non compliant. <laughs> yeah. And something with your voice. Yeah. yeah. 
do you express it in your way with your voice or yeah well I'm a professional singer and I always have oh been, wow yeah and that's something that seems to have been blocked in me for far too long now and I'm not really sure how to go about it I've, all, I, I've been looking around for band members or musicians to play with and it just never seems to flow into my life easily and so yeah that's yeah I, I totally understand what you're saying and I need to do something with that with my singing again it's important for me yeah yeah or it's um yeah it's a part of your expression your singing um and your singing also, I mean, again, I don't know what sort of singing you do, but um, that needs to change. Mm, yeah, it does. Yeah. yeah that is, but it needs to change. Um, yeah. yeah. I've always sung other people's songs. I've always uh, sort of gone on and recorded other people's songwriters' music and enjoyed that, but I've never really never really sort of sung what I want to sing in a way. Okay. Yeah. That makes sense. Because um you you haven't really uh stepped up to the full light. So no. you you um yeah it's it's about um it's almost like um, accepting your own power and standing in your fullness. So it's like I need to step forward and um, gracefully accept that I'm a beautiful, power, be powerful being with a beautiful voice. Wipe that's, that great. Clean. that's a great message for me. Thank you so yeah. much. Yeah. Good work, Jasmine. Spot on. <laughs> so do you do this all the time? You do readings for people all the time and do you use your cards mainly? Yeah, I'm, um, I use a combination. I um, use Oracle. Sometimes I use Tarot. Yeah. Um, yes, that's, that's sort of where I'm at anyway. With so do you mainly do them in person or do you do online ones as well, just for, the, for our viewers to know? Because we'll put your details... Yeah you know, below yeah. this video so that they can connect with you if they want to. Um, yeah, also the um, that yeah I, I do I do readings. Um, I can do readings on Zoom um, and I do readings, um, you know, one-on-one -on -one readings. I read at the Fremantle Markets if anyone's in Perth. Oh, lovely. Yeah, and um, there it's very different and it, it is more people wanting um, to know, put answers and, and things. Um, because it's such a busy place and hectic, so much going on. I couldn't do a high frequency reading there. Yeah, yeah. Um, but helpful. yeah, I'm there every weekend and I love being there. And, you know, I love connecting with people. But if not, I'd probably be a hermit, to be honest. Um, and uh, yes, and I do them from, from home. Um, not so much doing from home at the moment because I've just been so busy and doing my artwork. Um, but, you know, Zoom is always possible. Yeah. And you've been busy running to the post office. <laughs> the post office and they know me by name. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I do. Yeah. Oh, wow. Delivering or sending off all your beautiful oracle cards to everybody. So that's yes, great. That's Glad right. they're doing so well. Yeah. I'm going to have to order more now. But it's good because it, at least I can afford to order more. <laughs> and it's <laughs> out of my own pocket. So, yeah, it's great. Yeah. That's great. You deserve it. Thank you. I'm so, so glad that's going well. And um, thank you for yeah. coming and speaking to us tonight too. Thank you so much, Jasmine. Thank you. Thank you for having me. That's wonderful. Awesome. Yeah. We might finish there on a high note. And, um, yeah, if anyone wants to connect with Jasmine, we'll put her details below in the description. And um, please, you know, order some of her cards if you feel called to. They're absolutely beautiful. I can recommend them and so can Claire. And um, yeah, we thank you, Jasmine, for your time. Thank, thank you. you. It's wonderful to meet you. Yeah, and we wish thank you all you. the best. Yeah, and all the best for your touch. Well. And hopefully, yeah, we'll chat again. 
Yeah. Okay. Bye right. for now. Bye. Stay on, but yeah, we'll see you Bye. later. See ya.